What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 545 40 TV, here in the building. I um, got me a new keyboard a couple days ago. Well, it's not a new keyboard, it's actually a rare keyboard, actually. Um, the Yamaha EX5. This is a keyboard I've always wanted um, growing up when I first started playing. I finally had the opportunity to buy it at a sweet, sweet deal. I'm not going to disclose what I bought it for, just know that it was dirt cheap, like dirt cheap. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do today is I ordered the USB um, drive so I can remove the flash drive, not the floppy drive um, from this keyboard. I'm not gonna use any floppies. Um, don't even own a floppy drive so on my computer. So I'm gonna, you know, upgrade it a little bit Got a little work I'm gonna do to it. Um, got a key down here that needs to be replaced. So again, I got it at a super crazy deal. Um, again, this is a keyboard I always wanted. So I'm gonna get into the repair, show y'all how to open this keyboard up. And we're gonna get to it, install the floppy drive, which I'm actually waiting for from the UPS. I was like, you know, might as well go ahead and make this video and um, you know, get it popping or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I'll be right back after the intro. All right, so we're gonna start on the left side of the keyboard, start taking screws out. And I do have a drill. Um, if you got a manual drill or a manual screwdriver, it's gonna take you all day. So, you know, this would be a lot simpler a lot easier, all right? So I'm gonna start taking some screws out here. And you might see the video kinda go fast, but just know take all the screws out. All right, now we are on the right side of the keyboard. Um, I don't think I have to take this plate off, but um, you might see me take the plate off if I have to, but we'll see. All right, let's get the, taking these screws out. All right, so I noticed upon um, taking the screws out, I did not have to release the screws on the side, um, on each side. So I'm actually gonna put those three screws back over there and uh, we'll get to taking this off and then removing our floppy drive. All right, so pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up from this side. Um, you can't lift up from this side because there's a lip here. So we're gonna lift up from this side and then pull back toward us. Uh-oh, look, I'm about to break something. All right, so we have here our floppy drive. Sorry for the shaking here. All right, so we have our floppy drive. I went on and removed the ribbon cable, and I also removed the power 
um, cable here. There's two screws to, four screws actually, I'm sorry, to remove, which is one here, one here, and it's two on the side. All right, so if be able to get down there, you have to get an extension. So I got an extension. We're gonna put a bit up there. All right, first screw. Second screw. Third screw. And this would be a whole lot easier if you had a magnetized um, bit. I don't have one, so we're gonna try to make do what we got. Because it looks like it's gonna be pretty much difficult to try to get these screws back in there. But I think I know a trick. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the screws in like that. And then sit it down and then drill it in. We're gonna remove two screws on each side. Um, notice that it went in this way. So the bracket is actually getting higher on this side. So it kind of leans down. So we wanna make sure that when we put it back in, it goes back the same as that way. So we're gonna disconnect that screw here. And we're also gonna disconnect and that's fine, screws are falling in here on the circuit board. It's not pulled up, it doesn't have power. So, you know, it's 100% fine. We're gonna do the same thing to this side. That is not what we wanna do, <laughs> but we'll get those out later. That's gonna be in the bloopers. All right, so here's our flash drive. Our USB drive will look exactly the same, same ribbon, same power connector. Um, we're gonna install it the same way. So that'll be on the next scene. I will see y'all in a few. All right, everybody, we have our USB floppy drive emulator in the mail. Let's look at the size compared to the actual floppy drive. So they're about the same um, to the front. The floppy drive is a little longer, but that's not even gonna matter because all the holes still line up, line up perfectly. So we're gonna go ahead and get to installing this, actually put the brackets on first. All right, so let's remember that the brackets, um, the back is going upward. So this will be our left side. Just gonna grab these screws for the left side. I'm gonna just put the screws in um, by hand right now. All right, so we're gonna tighten it up. My next repair video will be um, actually the keys. Replacing that A flat key that's broken. That'll be my next video. So what I had to do, I had to slide it so that this hole shows through. Very simple. If I can get the hole in, I <laughs> have to screw in the hole. Okay, I see what I did. I went a little too far up. There we go. Yep. So you just gotta line those holes up perfectly. So it's a good thing I really don't have any issues as far as um putting these brackets on with the holes not lining up or having to create holes, you know, that would be 
a headache. So it actually looks like I, I should put the front on first. That is not what we wanted to do. <laughs> hey, look, I'm gonna leave all that in the video. All of it. Let's try this again. I thought it was simple, but trying to hold this and Make sure the camera is getting angle and all that type of stuff is hard to do all at one time. Let me not blame it on the, cam the camera. I just couldn't get it. <laughs> if I said I couldn't get it in the hole, well, you know, you know. All right, so let's put our last screw inside the bracket. And you can really just fast forward through all this if you want to, or just watch, cause you know, who knows? There might be another funny blooper. I pretty much always leave my bloopers in. All right, perfect. All right. So next we're gonna put it in, um, in place to put the nook screws in. So I'll be right back. All right, so we are back. What we're gonna do now is put this in place. Uh, we'll connect everything later. And it fits perfect. So let's grab our screws here. And sorry if you hear my whiny chair. I think we said we're gonna go ahead and put the screws in here. Let's see how this works out. I'm gonna put screws in the holes. Yeah, all the screws are the same size, so you don't have to really worry about making sure you put the right screw in the right hole or anything. All right. So we're gonna carefully sit it down. And I'm gonna pretty much already go ahead and pull this one down and get, this, get it started. So that started, I'm gonna go to this side, get that one started. All right, let's go to the one in the back. And it looks like you have to bend the bracket a little bit to get it to fit the hose correct, which is not a big deal. Let's make sure everything is tight, tight and snug. Let's see what's going on with this hole here. Probably gotta bend it back from. All 
All right, so everything's in place. Sorry that took a little longer than expected, but we'll go ahead and put this power cable on. Let's make sure we're putting it on correctly and everything. All right, so power cable is connected. And you'll see a notch on the top of your ribbon cable, and there's also a notch on top of here. There we go. So everything should pretty much work. Um, we are gonna remove this, screw, this our screwdriver here, and we're gonna put some power to it to cut it on, and actually check to make sure that our emulator is getting power, all right? So I'm not even gonna stop the recording. I'm just gonna keep All right, so as you see, our emulator is getting power. So again, this emulator just pretty much gonna replace um, the floppy drive. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Of course, you know, you're gonna put your screws back in the same way you took them out. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, make sure you share this video with anybody who uh, has have this board or a board similar or a board with just a floppy drive because this is pretty much gonna show you, you know, the floppy drive that you need, the USB drive replacement actually, that you're gonna need and everything. So thank y'all for watching again. Make sure y'all check out the rest of my videos on my channel. I will talk to y'all later. All right, on the next video. The next video will be the key replacement. So, and then we're gonna install some memory. All right, peace.